Hello and welcome to another Docuer how-to video presented by Mike and Technologies, a Docuer Platinum partner and Diamond Club member located in St. Louis, Missouri. Today we're going to take a look at creating roles within Docuer version 6.12. While similar to function profiles, a role is the largest of the containers for writes. As the largest writes container, a role can have connections to multiple users, groups, function profiles, and file cabinet profiles. When a user is added to a role, the user gains all the rights granted to that role. As a review, the user has the lowest level of rights in Docuware. A user should have, by default, no inherent rights. A Docuware administrator can grant rights directly to a user, but this is not suggested as a best practice as this creates a lot of work for the administrator. A file cabinet profile gives specific rights for a specific file cabinet. The file cabinet profile is a slightly larger container for user rights. It is designed to work in conjunction with function profiles. When a file cabinet profile is added to a role, the role can grant file cabinet rights. A function profile is a container that holds function rights, like Docuware administrative rights and Docuware configuration rights. Function profiles are the mid-level containers in this order. When a function profile is added to a role, the role can grant those organizational rights to any assigned user. Here is a caution. A single user can be linked to several roles. The roles are additive. All the linked roles combined give the total granted rights for the user. This combination is designed to be the least restrictive of user rights. When creating a role, you must be logged into the Docuware Administrator program as a person with the rights to manage roles. Just because you can log into Docuware Administrator does not give you the rights to make changes to roles. In the Organization branch, expand this level to show the sub-branches. Expand the User Administration branch to the sub-levels. Expand the Roles branch. If there are no roles, this will not expand. If there are previously created roles, they will appear as sub-branches. Right-click on Roles or Highlight Roles and hit Ctrl-N to start a new role. You first need to add a name for the new role. Highlight the name, in this case, Role 17. Replace the name of the role as Accounting Manager. Expand the Profile branch if necessary. Then click on the plus sign for Organizational Profiles to open a dialog box. Select the ACC Manager Profile in the left pane. With it highlighted, use the right or left arrow to move items between panes. When finished, click OK. As soon as the main dialog box reopens, click on Apply to save your settings. Now click on the plus sign by File Cabinet Profiles. When the dialog box opens, scroll down to find the Accounting Demo Management Profile. Highlight it and move it to the right panel with the two arrows as before. We now need to add the dialog for this user to use. Click on the plus sign for Assign Dialogs. Select and move the Standard Search, Standard Store, and Standard List View Result Dialogs to the right-hand pane using the arrows. It should look like this when you are finished. Click OK. And that is how you create a role within a Docuer administrative tool. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please reach out to us directly. Our phone number and email address are listed in the description below this video. Thanks for watching.